Hey everybody, it's been a while since I've recorded, so I'll probably be a little rusty. I've been on vacation with my husband. We went from Texas up to New York. I mean, Texas to Indiana, across to New York, and back down to Texas. And we made a big old loop, and we were gone about three weeks. And then my sister came out for the um, quilt show, so I've been uh, a little on the busy side. Anyway, I'm going to go back and pick up what I didn't cover because I wasn't here. And uh, one of the things um, I got at one of the thrift stores we went to is this um, witch's hat. I bought it at a Goodwill for 50 cents. And it was originally a 3T, 4T from the children's place. So what I ended up doing was I deassembled it. Instead of throwing it out, I deassembled it. I cut off, oh, I guess I would say that's... Um, about four inches, something like that, and then I um, sewed the cone back together. And because this flap was too um, wide for a doll, I ended up having to cut out a section of about, um, from this purple area, I cut out about probably five inches, at least five inches. And then I uh, sewed them back together, and um, I took this and I gathered it. And um, I probably should have cut that down because now I have, I think, a little too many of these um, um, tools, but it looks okay. So um, I gathered it so it would fit into the smaller ring and restitched it. And then finally I put the rest of this black foam back into the cone and then I just top stitched around here to put it back together. Because this was um, so wide it wouldn't lay flat, I ended up having to put little darts in the top and the bottom also uh, around these areas. You can't see this one because it's covered with the tool, but I have a little dart here and a little dart that matches the same size on the other side and that gave me that flat, that flatness that I needed for um, the doll hat. So I put it on Kelsey and um, finally I got it to fit correctly as far as the size of her um, head. Uh, I took a little tweaking but it did work so there's no sense in throwing these things out if you can um, reuse them for doll costumes to make uh, cute little outfits for Halloween. Okay so, um, whoops, I just lost her hat. So then with the rest of the um, fabric, I had uh, I cut off enough to make a skirt, and it was already really short. So what I ended up doing was using a little bit of um, bias tape. So I sewed the bias tape to the front and just turned it and top stitched it. Then I just put a little tiny hem because I didn't want a big one. So I put a tiny hem down there. And this is... Um, um, a vinyl fabric. It's a it's a vinyl t vinyl type of fabric. Like uh, uh, it's better quality than like a tablecloth, but it's still a uh, vinyl. So anyway, um, I did that, and then I just put a little Velcro strip on both sides to hold it together. I decided not to go with elastic in the waistband because I wanted that nice fit to it. So I didn't have time to make a blouse or anything, so what I ended up doing was just um, taking a blouse that I already had, and this was um, this black blouse I made out of the short sleeve um, leotard uh, uh, pattern. Uh, and um, I just cut off the panty part on the bottom and straightened out the edge, so I didn't make a new pattern. It's actually the same one. And it's out of the, uh, one of those black bathing suits that I bought. So I just cut it up, and you just put it on like uh, you would be putting on a leotard. You don't have, there's no um, closure in the front or the back. It just stretches. So this is what I use. But um, next year, if I have time and we're not out of town, we always travel at the same time because that's when our grandkids are able to um, do things with us. So, um, but if I'm here for Halloween next year, I'll try and get the costumes made early. So you can try and make them yourself if you want them for your kids or grandkids' dolls. Oh, she's getting her hair all messed up. Okay, so that's what I used for the blouse. I, um, I made it a little bit too 
uh, off the shoulder, and that's because I made this, I sewed this um, too far up on the um, underarms. I, I should have given myself more of a, um, I shouldn't have gone so high to the top. Uh, and I'll remember to do not do that again next time. So that was what I used for the um, blouse. And then I'm going to put her uh, uh, skirt on. And I didn't have time to uh, get a nice belt made because I was looking for, every place we went, I looked for a um, one of those big square gold belts that you see on witches' shoes. And I couldn't find any. So what I ended up doing was just taking a piece of um, uh, tool and just tying it on for a, um, uh, uh, a bow on her waist. You might have seen this picture already on uh, Pinterest because I put that up because I did have the the costume done. Okay, so there's that and her hat. I'm probably too close and you can't see too much, but um, I hope you can see that that's her witch's costume. I don't have any shoes on her. Um, so um, when I was out shopping at the thrift stores, I found this. Um, red um, boa kit for um, uh, the um, uh, red hat uh, charms, miniature hats, and, and I thought, well, why is this only a quarter? Because it was originally sold for eight ninety nine. Well, I opened it up thinking I was going to get this little red hat, and um, the only thing in it was this uh, brochure, the little red hat charm and this purple boa. That was the only thing that was in the in the um, box. There was no red hat, and I think that's why they were selling them for a quarter. But anyway, I saw this purple, and I thought that would be really cute to add this boa as part of her Halloween outfit. So I added that in the pictures with her hat. And there's my um, witch's uh, costume. Next year I'm going to make an actual pair of witch's boots that have the um, little curly cues on the top and it, then the ones that lace up with the um, eyelets that go across, just like the regular uh, witch's shoes. But anyway, that was Kelsey's costume. So then I got to thinking, I was um, my husband had a doctor's appointment today, so I got stuck sitting in the waiting room, so I went through uh, one of the style magazines, and I saw uh, a boa-like um, wrap, but it was um, made out of fur. So I came home and I pulled out one of my fur pieces, and I just took it and I thought, well, how could I make this into a boa-like uh, for a doll? And what I did was I tried it here and I put a little seam, I just sewed it, and uh, sure enough, it looks just fine because I took a brush. I took my little um, brush and brushed it out, and you can't even see where the uh, stitching is. And I thought, wouldn't that be cute to make this a boa for the doll, um, and or a stole? You know those old mink stoles that people used to wear, and it was just a matter of having a stole go around the. Um, uh, the doll, and I thought, well, you can just make a stole. You can probably do something to hold it together instead of going through all the trouble of making a different. Um, you can make one jacket and have uh, different types of sto stoles to put around the doll. And I thought that would be really, really cute for with uh, Chris, with um, the cold weather coming up, and you can just tie it on and uh, give your dolls, of course I've cut it down to about here, and give your dolls all these different uh, fur fur options for their clothing. Wouldn't that be cute? I hope you can see that in the picture. Okay, so that's all it was. It was just a fold, a fold, and sew it on top. I tried thinking that I could um, go like this and sew a seam and then turn it inside out, but there's no way you're going to be able to turn that to the right side with this being as thick as it is. So that was my uh, 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 fur stole. And then um, I was at the garden ridge 
the other day and all their Halloween costumes were um, half off. And I found these um, boas, the little fur boas. So they were two ninety nine. so I got two for two for the price of one. And I thought, oh, this would be cute also um, for the dolls. I'll just cut that down and we could have some fur boas um, for Halloween costumes and um, evening gowns or whatever. And I thought for two for a dollar fifty, it wasn't a bad deal. I'm just going to have to glue. I'm going to have to cut these threads off and glue the ends and cut them down to doll size. I might trim some of these feathers because they might be a little too long on the dolls. So that took care of Kelsey's costume. And then um, I was uh, taking around um, tutus. So what I did is I um, tried a different technique on how to make a tutu. So here's Kyla. And I wanted to make her into a... Um, I wanted to make her into like a, a, a wood sprite. So I tried to make her a tutu, but I didn't quite know how to go about it. So what I did was, um, this is just a bathing suit that I made out of a, uh, it's actually a reversible bathing suit that I made out of one of the bathing suits. I'm just using it for now. But when I do actually um, make the actual um, um, leotard for this, I'm going to, in, uh, I bought a um, heat crystal, a hot fix crystal set at the um, quilt show in Houston and I'm going to be able to make a pretty design on here just using the heating tool and these um, crystals. But I'll, I'll show, I'll, I'll do a video on this one when I do this and uh, design uh, a real, so finish the whole outfit. So how I did these was I just used um, Stretch Magic. I, this isn't the one I used, this one is too thin. I used the I believe it was the 1.25 millimeter Stretch Magic. It was a nice thick, thick cord. Let me see if you can see what that is. I did three, um, three of them because I didn't know how thick I wanted them. So what I did was I um, would take one piece of um, of the uh, Stretch Magic and I would zigzag all these. I would court. I went. Um, black, green, black, green, black, green, and I kept zigzagging them onto this stretch magic. Let me see if I can find the knot. Anyway, I kept zigzagging on here, and I, here it is, until, and then I knotted it with a uh, square knot. Um, to be safe on these, I would think you would want to put some glue or something so it won't un it won't come undone like it would on a friendship bracelet. But if you don't have the stretch magic, don't worry because you can use your uh, elastic cording, you can do your metallic cording, you can do your sparkle cord, any of the elastic cording will work just as fine on these. But anyway, that's with the sewing machine. So uh, you can do them all different colors, you can do them as, as whatever you want. And this is how I cut them. I took a um, I'll just use this pink one. I took this and I just cut out um, about an inch, inch and a half. There's, you don't have to be, um, you don't have to be neat about it. And then um, I put a diamond in the bottom. I just cut a diamond, and that's how I did it. I just took this and I sewed it. I'll use this to show you. I put this on my sewing machine and I just zigzagged it. I just laid this underneath and I zigzagged it. So once I had a lot of them on there, I just kept um, pushing them together until they got um, really tight on the... I just kept squeezing them until they got tight on the elastic and I thought I had enough. And then once I had enough, that became uh, the tutu. So I don't know if I'm going to put these together or if I'm just going to make a whole bunch of tutus with all different colors on them because... Um, you can mix and match these things. So if you want to have multicolored, like rainbow ones, you can have one layer, one color, next color, another layer. So your daughter or your grandkids or your granddaughters could um, 
mix and match and play with these and make whatever outfits you want. But let's just say you don't have a sewing machine and you want to do these, you can do these without a um, without a sewing machine. So what I did was I took a piece of cord. This is the same technique, but I took a piece of cord and I wrapped it around the doll's waist to get it to the right size. I probably can't find it now. I have such a mess already. Yeah, I can't find the one I did. Okay, well, I'll show you how I did it. So I'm going to take this off Kyla. And I'm going to take my elastic cord and I'm going to go around her waist. And um, cut all the journey girls are 10 inches, so I'm just going to cut here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie this cord into a knot. And same thing here, I'd probably put a, um, a piece of glue on here to hold it tight so it will not come undone. So um, I'll do that later. But I put a piece of glue on there and let it dry so it won't come undone after I've knotted it. Okay, so we're going to put this, put your knot in the back. Put this back on Kyla. Okay, so decide how long, take a piece of your uh, tool and decide how long you want, since you're going to be ra wrapping this twice, you probably don't want to go this way unless you want a tiny little, tiny little, um, tutu, which you probably don't. So what you want to do is you decide how long you want your tutu and then double that up. So in this case I want my tutu this long. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut it. Okay, so now I've got it as long as I want it and I'm going to cut this into thirds. So you can uh, do this on your, um, if you've got a rotary cutter and a board, you can do that or you can do it by hand. Just cut it into three pieces. The nice thing about these two twos, you can be a little messy and you'll never see the difference. So now you can decide what kind of um, uh, bottom you want. You can, you can just do a diamond shape or you can do a zigzag. You can do so many designs on the bottom of these things. It doesn't have to be just straight across. So anyway, once you've got that, what you're going to do is you're going to put this down here and then you're going to just wrap it. I hope I'm not running out of time. I think I might be, so anyway, I hope I'm not, but if I do, I'll come back. And then pull tight. Okay, and then just keep doing that over and over and over again until you've, get, until you've got um, your um, tutu as full as you want. And you can make it all different colors or however you want to do it. But just make sure you put all your knots the same way so it looks uniform. So same thing, you can just uh, you can make as many of these as you want or you can make them as tight as you want. But anyway, that will be um, uh, uh, Kyla's tutu. Um, when I finish getting as many of these on here as I as I want. But the same thing, you can variegate all your colors. So even if you don't have a sewing machine, you can still make these um, tutus very simple. So with anything, you can use headbands, you can use the cording, you can use, um, you can even use this lightweight clear elastic if you want, but you'll have a real thick you'll have a lot thicker um, waistband on here than you would with a piece of cord. And I think the cording will probably have them lay better. But anyway, that's how you're going to get a bunch of tutus. Easy tutus. Shaped any way you want. Any design. Okay, so that's my video on Halloween costumes. I've got so much... Um, I've got boxes of stuff that I brought home. But anyway, um, I will just start making videos and, and uh, show you everything I got as I get to it because I'm not going to do a haul video because I just, I just have way too much. 
Okay, well, I'll talk to you guys later. So thanks for watching. Bye.